Welcome back, you guys, and thank you for following me all the way to video number three. This is really going to be interesting because, yeah, there's been another Suits snub. This is the third one. See, this is karma. <laughs> so, all right, there's a lot to unpack. Let's just jump in and get there, shall we? Let's go. We all remember back to the Golden Globes when all of the people from Suits got together on the red carpet, they did some interviews. It was very interesting. Patrick Adams and Gabriel mocked, posed, you know, up a storm on the cameras. And then Gina Torres got up there and Sarah Rafferty. And one of the people asked, um, Gina Torres, where's Meghan Markle? And she flat out looked up and said, she's not in our group chat. As a matter of fact, she said, we don't even have her phone number. <laughs> because <laughs> we don't have her number. We have no way to reach her. So all of these people that, you know, say that she's, remember, Megan says, oh, they were his closest family. They were our second family. No, she said our text thread is insane right now, but Megan isn't in the group chat and we don't have her number. Okay, so she was, she was left out of the Golden Globes because she snubbed these people, okay, after she married Harry. Then the next thing we heard, there was going to be a Super Bowl commercial on February 11th and Gina Torres and Rick Hoffman and Sarah Rafferty were all going to be in this commercial for ELF Elf Cosmetics. Megan, no. Now, of course, just like with the Golden Globes, they're going, oh, she had prior commitments. She wasn't asked. We also heard just a few days after that that there was going to be a Suits reboot and she wasn't invited to that either. Well, here comes the next thing, the next snub. Patrick Adams and Sarah Rafferty are going to do a new podcast. They've signed a host a new Sirius XM rewatch podcast that will be discussing each episode of the hit series from USA Network, giving you behind the scenes scoops and details into the making of the show. So what they said was, because of the Suits resurgence, we feel like it's the perfect time to rewatch the show that changed our lives. He said, we're going to collaborate with the incredible team at Sirius XM and connect with our friends from the cast and crew, as well as Suits fans who made it all possible. And Adam Sachs, who is the SVP of podcast content at Sirius XM, said that the record-setting audience will be impressed by this new project. He's pretty sure because this brings the listeners closer to the stars they love and they've got Patrick and Sarah. You know, this would have been the perfect thing for Megan. She could sit on a podcast and talk and talk about her role and talk about what we all know how much she loves to talk about herself. This would have been perfect for her. But guess what? She's not invited. Now, of course, we know all about archetypes and it was just given a rebrand and a new launching and it's not doing any better from what I understand now than it did the first time around. I got to be honest, this is a really good idea to take two of the stars from this show and have them discuss the reboot and discuss the episodes. How much do you guys want to bet then Meghan Markle is going to do the same thing. How much do you want to bet? Because she said she's going to do a second season of Archetypes. How much do you want to bet that she's going to veer off and start talking about Suits? I, I swear to God, you guys, I really feel like that's what she's going to do. Please keep in mind that Megan was number six on the call sheet. She actually was not the star of the show. She was a small bit player in the show. She has not kept up with any of her co-stars who, you know, she dumped them off like she dumps everybody else off. It's not, it's just, if she had kept in touch with her co-workers, she would have been in a much better position right now. For those of you who don't remember, I did a video on the Golden Globes and what happened while they were at the Golden Globes and, and the different things that were said. And the fact that Patrick Adams' wife was most unhappy. She was making faces when there was a discussion about him possibly working with Megan again. I mean, she couldn't hide the disgust on her face. 
I guess the point of all of this is that because of her behavior and the way she treats and uses people, she was left out of the Golden Globes. Of course, they claim that she had a prior commitment, but then you never heard anything else about it. She was left out of the Super Bowl commercial, and now she's being left out of what's probably going to be an award-winning podcast. That, my friends, is what you call karma. All right, you guys, you know I want those comments. Put them down. Don't forget to hit the like button. Let me know if it's still not working. And make sure if you are subscribed, you're still subscribed. If not, go ahead and hit that button. Don't forget that down in the description box, you'll find the links to my Twitter, my Getter, my Rumble, my email, my Patreon, a physical address. If you've donated anything to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And as always, you guys, have a great day.